Hello there, Scorps. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Scorpio placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and you switch the roles. Um, take what resonates. Leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Thank you guys so much for your love, your donations, and your support. I'm sending you a lot of love and lights on your journey. Okay, anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages that are on here and on any other social media platforms, okay? So let's tap in, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with y'all. Okay. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that ascends to harm, Scorpio and their loved ones, me and my loved ones, return it back to the sender, block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through, clear, concise, and precise messages here for my Scorpio collective, and protect me as I channel the messages here for Scorpio. So Scorpio, um, the readings are going to be long. Okay, this reading is going to be long because I'm going to pull from some oracles at the end of the reading that could give you some sort of guidance and help you. Okay, and I'm also not going to be elaborating on so much negative energy either because the shit just drains the fuck out of me. And I'm seeing like it's not really doing anything. I am going to, you know, call them a bitch if they a bitch. Okay, <laughs> but I'm not going to sit and keep elaborating on this energy. Like it's just... It's just like, it is what it is. I always talk about it and tell y'all what's going on and, and shit like that. But I kind of like want to focus on more of the positive aspects or trying to help guide you guys through some things. Like, I mean, clearly I've been guiding you because there's a lot of people that tell me that they have um came out of some really dark times. But still, I don't want to keep talking about these hoes. They be draining the fuck out of me. And if I want to make my readings long, like if I'm going to be doing my readings long, I don't want to be drained after I'm done. That negative energy drains the fuck out of me. It just makes me tired. And like, I've been through three readings so far. They all were long as fuck. And I feel fine. <laughs> like, I, you know. So let's just see, Scorpio. Let's see what's coming out for y'all. Let's see. What's going on here for Scorpio? So we got Knight of Gabriel, so Knight of Cups. So it says time to take action. Oh, I mean, Knight of Wands, sorry. Yeah, Knight of, Knight of Wands. Knight of Raphael would be Knight of Cups. But so you could be dealing with a Sagittarius so you could be on the cusp, Scorpio, the cusp of Saggy. But it says take, I mean, time to take action, great passion for a cause, instinctively knowing just what to do. So yeah, I feel like you're getting ready to take a risk here. Six of Gabriel, so six of wands. You could be getting ready to take a risk here, Scorpio, that's going to lead to success, okay? You could be using your char your uh, your charismatic personality. I feel like you're feeling enthused or you're feeling like this confidence or this boost of energy, okay? And making things happen or this is your person that's doing it, okay? But whatever this next chapter is, it requires you to be... Um, it requires you to have like energy and vitality, okay? And confidence here. And I feel like it's going to work out in your favor. There could be some sort of like traveling that you're doing. Or you're just moving around a lot. You're getting a lot of things done. Okay, which is nice. So we have the King of Gabriel. Yeah, King of Wands. Okay. We got Decision here. The Devil. Hmm. Anyway, so we got the King of Wands. So it says, keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success and genuine concern for others. So you could definitely be stepping into some sort of leadership position or you're taking a lead here in your life. You're taking action and you're definitely getting things done. I feel like you're driven, you're focused, you're headstrong. Okay, you could definitely be an inspiration to other people. You're some sort of motivational, like I'm hearing like motivational speaker. Okay, you're a leader of some sort here. You're stepping into a leadership role. Okay. I feel like you're feeling confident right now. It's something about your energy that's just like somebody here find the tail. Night of Wands with the or whatever this energy is is making somebody. I don't know. I don't know. But the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Somebody could be coming in to sweep you off your feet. Okay. Well, we got that's you, Scorpio, with number 13 is peace. Archangel Azrael. It says, release the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. Period. So you could be going through some sort of regeneration or a transformation, a death and a rebirth. Okay, there's like new energy here. Something feels really good and I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know how to describe it. Whatever this is that I'm feeling. 
What else? Spirit? The King of Ariel. Okay, King of Pentacles. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success using resources wisely. So, yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hmm. Let's see what this is. <laughs> yeah, no, no beginnings, judgment. Number 20. So some of you guys could be moving around a lot for work or a job here. Okay, or something that you're doing. Something that you're doing for your stability, your security. I feel like there's a need to take action or maybe move. Or somebody could travel a lot for work. Or however you make your money. Yeah, you're moving around a lot for, for work, maybe. Uh, let's see what else, though. Let, let's just see, because I'm getting something else. Okay, I'm going to pull all the cards first. Okay, yeah. Uh, the Number 15, the devil here. So we got Capricorn under the king of wands. Okay, so it says, release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox, unnecessary worry based on lack of self-confidence. <laughs> and then we got... um page of wands here in reverse okay it says follow your passion you are ready for any challenge opportunities for excitement and adventure mm. so i feel like there's going to be an ending of dealing with this person whoever this king of wands is here with this devil energy something is ending for their ass okay and whoever this king of pentacles is so this could be your masculine here if you're a scorpio woman watching or this could be you as a masculine that i'm talking to uh scorpio and your divine feminine got a masculine here that's like in their energy or this is a man here competing with another man i don't know your friend or whatever but the page of wands in reverse somebody's behavior is really predictable they keep doing something over and over again somebody refuses to change okay they're too fearful they too this they too that so i feel like spirit is stepping in archangel as Rael is going to end something for somebody because they don't want to make the change or move or they don't want to do this they don't want to do that so i mean somebody's going to have to move out the way so regardless, because spirit is going to come through and make it happen. Whoever this is, they're in devil energy. They're in their shadow side. They're egotistical. They're 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 pessimistic. I feel like they want to be seen as a leader, but they're not. They're not. So, I mean, and this could just be a person. They they could be needing to release some sort of devil energy. They could be like their ego or something like that. But I'm really feeling like that that could be somebody else. Look, we gonna see though. We're going to see. What's this Knight of Wands here? Somebody could be like, I feel like somebody's trying to compete with somebody. Somebody here, they use their looks or they, they whatever to get what they want. And I feel like this King of Pentacles is more stable, secure, they're grounded. They're very successful in what they're doing. They're very powerful here. This is why they have stability and security. Or this is, what they, this is why they're going to get that. But what's the Knight of Wands here? Yeah, Knight of Cups. Okay, there's a Knight of Cups that came out. What's the Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups? So, yeah, somebody here is, um yeah, in the Hierophant. So, okay. <laughs> the Knight of Wands with the Knight of Cups and the Hierophant. I feel like somebody's coming in to sweep you off your feet. Whoever this is here, they love you. They like you a lot, okay? They see a, a commitment. They see them having a commitment with you. This could be some sort of marriage proposal and engagement. Definitely some sort of good news here. Somebody could be getting good news or a call back from a good government job or something like that. A higher level of a, a position or somebody being in some sort of authority, uh, being in a higher, higher position of authority. But um, could be dealing with a Taurus. This could be a marriage engagement, a, a, a proposal of some sort. Okay, somebody here is committed. They're devoted. I feel like somebody's very faithful. They're trustworthy. They have integrity. Okay. So, I feel like you you could be in some sort of contract here. And so, somebody here, they just feel like they can be in and out of your energy. I don't know. It's like somebody's competing with someone that's solid. They're stable. They have real genuine feelings for you. They care about you. Okay. This could also be, too, um, a creative endeavor or creative expression of some sort with the Knight of Cups. Somebody could be an artist. So this Knight of Wands could be somebody here taking action on a, a creative endeavor or a, pursue, a, a creative pursuit for whatever they do as an artist, okay? Somebody is stepping into their purpose as some sort of leader, a wise counsel, 
and doing what spirit is asking they ask to do. Just period. There's a need to step out on faith and do this. It's going to create more stability and security for them. Whoever this King of Pentacles is. Okay. They could be going through some sort of spiritual upgrade. I feel like it's somebody else, but this could be you. You know, I flipped the roles, but somebody is... They on a right path, just period. And whatever action they take, and it's going to lead to success and a victory. Somebody knows just what to do. They're following their instincts. Their gut feelings here. So who is King of Wands? Yeah, somebody could be a Leo Virgo Cusper. Ciao. Who the King of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles? The Two of Pentacles in reverse. Temperance. So, I mean, if, if I'm just speaking all about you right now, this could be you, okay? Somebody here is growing. Knight of Pentacles. We went from the Knight of Wands to the King of Wands. So, somebody here is, is they have some sort of plan here or strategy. Somebody here has some sort of plan or strategy to fix their finances or get their financial situation together, okay? But to be honest, I'm going to just say how I feel. I don't feel like this is you or this person. I feel like this is a third party that's in your energy that needs to be purged the fuck out, okay? This King of Wands here is someone that's very strategic, very methodical in how they move, okay? And it's not in a good way either. Something has gotten out of control with the Two of Pentacles in reverse. We got Capricorn Jupiter here. Something has gotten out of control. It's messy as fuck. Someone could be in a situation where they want to use your energy, but they want to overextend themselves to other people. So it's like somebody who wants to show off or be like they need validation or, or something like that to make themselves feel better. But they want to use your energy to do it, though. You know what I'm saying? Like they want to make their situation better using you. And I feel like that's not going to happen. It's just not. This person here is in their shadow. They need to do their shadow work and, and leave you the fuck alone. So I feel like someone, something is moving slow for somebody. Somebody finances is fucked up. It's slow. Okay. Or this could be a person and they getting their shit together though. Like, so that's them. They coming out of whatever this is. But for, for whoever else that I feel like is in your energy doing stupid shit, you know, they getting ready to be fucked up. Somebody is inflexible. They're not adapting to the changes that are happening. They're not open-minded. They're not, you know what I'm saying? They're all over the place. Somebody's real stuck in their ways. What's this Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, Two of Wands. Somebody planning, strategizing. What's the Knight of Pentacles, Two of Wands? Aries, Mars. Okay, yeah, Two of Cups. Okay, so this Knight of Pentacles, your person could have Virgo in their chart. Somebody here is taking action and, and that has brought something into violence. Somebody here is, is a hard worker. They going to get shit done. They go after whatever spirit tell they ass to do, they do it. Okay. This person is very intelligent, very smart. I'm getting a, a good person. Okay. So there is a situation or something going on around you or this person that's chaotic, is messy because something has come into balance for your ass. Okay. Like somebody makes really poor financial decisions or if this is you, you need to watch how you're spending your money, stop spending or whatever this is. Okay. Because I feel like, I mean, that could be possibly slowing your manifestations down if you don't stop spending or whatever. But I feel like that two of wands, two of cups, this is a connection that's coming through. This is you and your person planning for the future here. And I feel like somebody is trying to figure out how to fuck it up or get in the way of it. So that way they can, they can have something for themselves. It's like, no. Yeah, nine of swords, the sun, no. Cancer, Venus here. We got Aries, Mars. So yeah, some of y'all, you're going to get married kind of fast. I feel like there's a connection here that's really going to move really fast. Unexpectedly too. I feel like you're not going to expect something to move fast. I feel like that Knight of Pentacles could talk about too having patience. There's a need for you to kind of like, you need to be open, be flexible, be adaptable. Okay, you and this person could live at a distance too. Well, I keep getting that about a long distance connection. You guys will be saying two, two, two. So somebody here has a plan, a strategy. Someone here is loyal, they're dependable, they're reliable, they're trustworthy, and they're a hard worker with the Knight of Pentacles upright if I'm looking at it on a positive aspect or side of things. So there, so something here needs a practical plan. Okay, there needs to be a plan here. I feel like somebody is taking action too. They're getting this plan together, honey. Okay, what's the two of pentacles in reverse then? What's that? Okay, yeah, the high priestess. 
What's two of pentacles in reverse, high priestess? The queen of pentacles. Okay, we got the king to the queen of pentacles. So I feel like there's a need. Your patience is being tested right now, Scorpio. Okay, some of you guys could be high priestesses. You could actually be readers. You could actually be white witches here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so some of you guys could be using your gifts here to help manifest a better a better financial opportunity actually for your person. I don't know. It's something that you 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 did. Okay. For some of you, there's a there's a high priestess here. There's a dark high priestess. Okay, there's a couple, I feel like. That normally does work here to bring about satisfaction and contentment with their own life and their own situation. But something has gotten out of control. Something is messy as fuck. It's not working. I feel like it's because you're grounded, you're stable, you're secure, and you're committed and devoted to whatever journey or path this is. Okay, the high priestess with the queen of pentacles, definitely somebody's a white witch or they're, they're a reader or whatever, or all of it. Okay, somebody's a medium, a reader, a white witch, like you do a lot. Okay, I feel like you could be working on your patience, working on becoming more flexible. There's a need for that, maybe with the two of pentacles in reverse, maybe work on... Maybe you could be trying to overextend yourself. So that could be what the issue is here. Your shadow is coming up for you to work on it. Because if you are at a distance from somebody or if somebody is not moving in the right amount of time for you or something like that, you could be you could fall back into patterns of codependency or um overextending yourself in a situation or doing too much or, or trying to get somebody to do something that you want them to do but it's just going to turn out a mess for you so there's a need for you to kind of like wait and be patient if you don't and 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 you kind of like not really force or coerce somebody into doing something that's not they not what they are supposed to be doing at that time you could ruin something for y'all too you feel what i'm saying so there's a need for you to keep faith and trust that something is working out in divine timing. So it could be you for some of you. If you're the woman in a situation that could be trying to rush something. Okay. There's a need for you to be patient and listen to your intuition. Okay. We got the high priestess to the hierophant. So yeah. Okay. There's a need for you to like compromise or work this work with this person right now. Because I feel like they're taking action to... um put something in a place for y'all too so what's so let's see what's the death card yeah there's a there's a per period of death and a rebirth yeah the knight of wands what's the death card with the knight of wands yeah the ten of pentacles yeah then we got the six of wands ace of pentacles poking out yeah so this is this is positive energy i feel like there's this energy of on and off just because there, there could be some travel here going on okay something about travel is very significant or somebody's just moving around a lot. It's a lot of things to get done. Yeah, the king of wands. Okay, for some of you, there's going to be an ending put to somebody here coming in and out of your, your energy constantly. Okay, there's somebody here that just keeps being in and out, back and forth. Okay, they, they keep trying to cause an imbalance or because they're imbalanced, they want to keep coming in and out of your damn energy. But no, okay, to take a little piece of this and a little piece of that, no. Um... I feel like you have wealth and prosperity coming in. Somebody here could be married, but they're cheating. They're all over the place. Whatever this is, is being put to, to rest. Okay, somebody is like married or they got stability somewhere, so they think. And I feel like, no, <laughs> just absolutely not. Somebody trying to be strategic and, and, and doing something here that they ain't got no business. What's this Knight of Wands? I feel like there's two kinds of Knight of Wands here. Somebody is like trying to shape shift or trying to be something that they're not or trying to take the, the essence of your masculine or you or something like that and, and mold it into themselves. Yeah, the devil. What's the Knight of Wands? Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. What's the Knight of Wands? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, yeah, and the Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, so somebody is a bully. You know, I'm trying to get away from the energy, y'all, but it is what it is. Somebody's like a bully. Um, they're very much so a follower. 
okay? Somebody that don't have a mind of their own or they can't be direct or they lazy. Somebody here feels like they, they know everything as well. They have an uh, 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 inferiority complex or is it superior? I think it's inferiority complex. Somebody feels like they're a god or they, they, they know everything. So they feel like they can come in and out or whatever. But this is landing them in the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Whoever this is and they ego heavy, they, they feel like they just doing everything right and they not. They don't want to be taught anything. Okay, yeah, this is not, that's somebody else. Could be a Gemini or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that feels like they're going to be a bully or somebody here is a follower. Somebody decided to do something that's criminal, a criminal act, okay, to gain some sort of stability and some sort of whatever, but they lost that opportunity because they're not getting it. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's in poverty. They, they're poverty stricken here. So I feel like the reason why somebody moving around or out and about all the time because they ain't got nowhere to fucking stay. They ain't got no car. Okay, they move probably moving on foot or whatever this is. I mean, you got to do what you got to do to make ends meet. But I'm talking about this damn loser. I'm not talking about somebody that's just falling on hard times or trying to clear out their own karmic debt. And they, they got to go through the motions here to get to a, a better place in their life. I'm talking about somebody here that just keeps on. They feel like they can keep doing what they're doing. Harmful to other people. And then they, they don't get... Uh, no, you just you just can't keep doing what you're doing. That's just what it is. So this is coming to an end here. What's the Ten of Pentacles? I feel like somebody somebody feels like because I feel I still feel like this Knight of Wands, this Knight of Swords now is whoever the fuck that is that that feels like they're gonna be in and out or. They're going to try to, like, hurt you or take you out or whatever. That Knight of Wands is who they competing with. That Knight of Wands, I feel like, is your person. They could have Sag in their chart somewhere. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, whatever. Strong Sagittarius or Leo somewhere or whatever the fuck. But I feel like that's who that Knight of Swords is trying to attack or compete with. It's like two masculines going at it. <laughs> it's, like, spiritually because I don't feel like somebody is too pussy to say it to their face. So, I mean, they, they attack. What's the what's the um Ten of Pentacles? Yeah, the Ace of Swords. Yeah, what's the Ten of Pentacles? Ace of Swords. So I feel like um Yeah, Eight of Wands in reverse. <laughs> so I feel like you've made a right decision here about something, um Scorpio, but it's just like bad timing. Something here is taking its time. Okay, this is like a, a breakthrough period or things that are coming to light or you having aha moments, epiphanies. It's like you're trying to process some sort of energy or process something before something can take off. Okay, there could be, like I said, well, well, yeah, unfinished business from the past that need to be cleared out. I feel like there's truths and clarity and certain things that need to come out in order for you to get this Ten of Pentacles. You know, it's like a process. You have to go through the process. Okay, there's something that's ending and something that's beginning, I feel. So... But somebody here, it's like, it's like, aha, I found where the negative energy is coming from, or I know, you know, what's, what, what's going on. So I feel like you did something about it. And you fucking stood up for yourself and you blocked this energy out. Just period. Just period. Um, someone could have a Sag Mercury. The Eight of Wands is definitely, like I said, negativity. There could be some sort of negative communication going on here but something i feel like is going back on somebody because you're coming out victorious ace of swords with the ten of pentacles there's a breakthrough there's a breakthrough here for you and it's whatever this ten of pentacles is and something is going back on somebody's ass somebody here took action they did something and that that they ass landed nowhere like literally it's so, something here backfired like heavy This could just simply be two delays or you're seeing where the delays are coming from. <clears throat> What's the King of Pentacles? Yeah, the Seven of Wands here. Yeah, exactly. There's a shield of protection here surrounding somebody. What's the King of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands? <clears throat> And the strength card, yeah, Leo energy strong. Somebody got Leo and HR heavy or somewhere. But we got Leo Mars here. We got Leo Sun possibly. So yeah, I feel like this is, um, there's a challenge here. Somebody is, this is King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles is powerful. They're stable, they're accomplished, and they're strong as fuck, okay? This person's plans are going how it needs to be going. This King of Pentacles to this queen, that could be you and your person. 
like dead ass coming together. This is like power couple energy. All right, two counterparts, two twins, whatever. Somebody here is facing some sort of challenge, but I feel like they're overcoming it with the shrimp card. Somebody has the inner confidence, the drive, the ambition, and um, the strength to overcome whatever this is. Somebody here standing up, they stand up for what they believe in. They fight for what they want. They're not a loser. Like whoever the fuck this is, I feel like they know every fucking thing. That's why they ain't got shit now. Everything is ended for this fucking person. Just period. So what's the shrimp card? Let me see. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yeah, see, whoever this masculine is, right, where there's opposing forces or things coming up against this masculine, they have the strength to overcome whatever this is. When things don't go their way, or not not their way, but when things don't really go how they planned it to go, or there's unwelcome changes, this person is overcoming that. I don't feel like this is bad luck or bad karma. I just feel like this is somebody here being tested by spirit to see, like, do you really have the strength here to move forward into this next phase? Because you're going to need it. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody here is not weak as fuck. They, they're strong as hell and they fight back. So this this opposing force or this unwelcome change or this could be cycles of like bad luck or something like that. Somebody had a, a string of bad luck or whatever. This person is coming out stable and secure. Whoever this is, this is your masculine, honey. They're strong as hell. That's your man. <laughs> okay, what's, what's the seven of wands? Somebody here too, whatever somebody is sending somebody or trying to send out to hurt somebody else. This person here, they don't even feel that shit. What's the seven of wands? <laughs> that's because that's your, your fucking counterpart. Like, you're, you're, this is a divine counterpart. Yeah, the seven of cups. Somebody is blocking out this fucking illusion or whatever this is. Somebody here had worked their magic. Queen of Pentacles, a high priestess. You could actually be a white witch here. You sent that shit back. Don't send no fucking devil energy over here. You deserve it to go back on your ass. Just period. Like, just period. Yeah, the death card, the five of cups, and the king of cups. Yeah, no. This person is highly protected. This could be, they protected all on their own. Okay, this King of Pentacles, this person here got the backing of their spirit guides and their damn ancestors. So this person here got a, they're, they're mentally strong, they're stable, they're securing themselves. Okay, and they focus, they're disciplined, they're a leader, they're a hard worker, they're very powerful. So whatever somebody's trying to do to somebody, bitch, it's not happening. This could be this King of Wands on your end. They could be somebody from your side trying to attack your masculine or trying to just fuck up a connection. It's not working. So anyways, what's uh the devil? Somebody trying to cause illusions or whatever. What's the devil here? Archangel Raphael. Yeah, the magician. Exactly. What's the devil with the magician? 323 three on the clock. You guys can be seeing those synchronicities. What's the devil here with the magician? I feel like somebody's realizing that you're more powerful than the damn devil. Okay, a, an angel could take out the devil. That's just automatic. What's the uh, the devil with the magician? Virgo, Gemini here. Yeah, we got the page of pentacles. Just dark magic. Just dark magic. Somebody here is continuing to spy, use divination to do certain things. And, you know, just be obsessive here. Some sort of plan or strategy didn't work because you're too fucking powerful. You're too powerful. You have the ability to fucking transmute and change whatever the fuck this is. And I feel like that's what you did. Okay, that's exactly what you did here. <laughs> Child. Hmm. What's this page of pentacles in reverse? Somebody doing all this fucking spying and shit. Yeah, this king of cups here. I feel like this is spirit guy that's blocking this shit out. Because this plan is unworkable. This is an unworkable strategy or plan. Just period. You could be dealing with a Scorpio though. Somebody's emotionally intelligent, very strong minded. Okay, somebody's heart is pure. Their heart is open. And things like that. Like somebody here <clears throat> is trying to cause somebody to be distorted or fucked up or cause them to go the opposite way. I feel like just so they can have access to you. Even if they did, bitch, you still wouldn't have access to this person. What's the Page of Pentacles in reverse, King of Cups? Yeah, Queen of Swords. Period. Yeah, this is you calling judgment on your spirit team. I mean, calling judgment on this person. You're calling in your spirit, guys. Like, no. I feel like... Mm -mm. yeah you you transmute the fuck out this energy i feel like you're a powerful shapeshifter too like you do that for the greater good obviously you don't do it to fucking hide the fact that you're a damn loser <laughs> but you do that to fucking protect yourself you and your damn masculine child <clears throat> 
These could be people that uh, this person is working with to do this damn magic. Queen of Swords could be a Scorpio, Aquarius, a, a Aries here that somebody working with. <clears throat> yeah, no, absolutely not. Mm. Somebody here could be into like sacrificing children and I, I don't like that. But um, anyways, so the queen of swords is like standing your ground, having high standards, defending yourself, speaking up, being direct. I feel like you're meeting somebody where they got you fucked up at. You're meeting their ass in the spirit or you're telling their stupid ass to leave you alone. Or you could be actually communicating with your actual masculine and telling them like, look, this is what's going on. This is what this is. But I feel like you're consulting with your spirit team, to be honest. You told on they ass in the spirit. Queen of Souls is someone that gives really good advice. Very powerful speaker, manifester. Very discerning, strong, and intelligent. So yeah, you're cutting somebody the fuck off. You're cutting somebody out your energy. I feel like somebody here, they be using your ass and it's like, no. What's the magician? Somebody getting some sort of bad news as far as they, their finances goes. Yeah, what's the magician with the Three of Pentacles? Capricorn Mars. Yeah, the Emperor, exactly. Your person here, they're too damn powerful. Whoever this Emperor is, the Emperor, the Three of Pentacles. For some of you, this is a, a your baby daddy or somebody that's a leader of a group that's doing some sort of magic or whatever this is. Who does Emperor? Who the Emperor? Yeah, Six of Swords. Yeah, I feel like that's your masculine. This Emperor here is being guided to more stability and security. This could be like them being guided to be an entrepreneur, have a business here. I'm hearing, um, I got the whole world in my hands. I got the whole, how that song go? I don't even know if I'm saying it right. But someone here, I feel like this is who you're partnering with. You got, you're part, you're, partner with a powerful leader a boss like person like this person is a natural leader they're naturally powerful this is a real divine masculine like there is nothing i feel like your spirit team here is working this is the three of pentacles six of swords to me when i'm getting energy like this is your spirit team honey and like i'm serious your spirit team has come together to work and and get this person here together and get you together like and definitely get this loser losing ass person together whoever this is in your energy so the, the 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 six of swords is moving into peaceful and calmer waters here. This could be travel, relocation, moving, okay? But this is definitely like healing, making progress here. Somebody is committed, they're focused with the three of pentacles. They learn from their past mistakes. Just period. And this person is very powerful here. They're a powerful manifester, I'm telling you. I feel like this person has leveled the fuck up, okay? They are protecting you, I feel like, in the spirit with a spirit team, like... All you got to do is say one word to this masculine. And whether they know it or not, they unconsciously like doing something in the spirit to protect you. Like dead ass. Mm. Somebody's security, their stability is protected. What's the page of wands in reverse? <laughs> Yeah, the chariot in reverse. Exactly. Something here is blocked. Something is blocked. I feel like somebody don't got no sense of direction without you. But this is somebody here trying to force their way or trying to be aggressive and force their way into your energy. But they definitely lost here. This is like hate winning over love. Somebody's a hater. They're a loser. Could be a cancer. It doesn't have to be. What's the page of wands in reverse with the chariot in reverse? Yeah, the devil. Exactly. Capricorn. Somebody's just toxic as fuck. They're, they're obsessive. They're easily tempted. They're easily moved. Okay. They could be on some drugs or alcohol. Uh, they could have an addiction of some sort. Like somebody's just operating out their shadow side. <clears throat> I feel like too, somebody is scared with the page of wands in reverse and the devil. Somebody is really scared that they're going to what pass away. Okay. Some sort of death magic is going back on somebody's ass. <clears throat> yeah. What's this devil? 
Yeah, the stone in reverse. Yeah, somebody's stuck in their south. No, they're in despair. They're lost as fuck. Somebody has no individuality, no originality. This person is a follower. They didn't listen to whoever the fuck they didn't listen to. Or they just they just lost their way. I don't know. They've just been a follower. <laughs> but someone here is bored. They're lacking inspiration. There's no motivation, no drive, no ambition, no leadership skills or qualities. They just didn't sold they sold. They lost. That's all. They just lost here. And I feel like they're doing something repetitive, repetitively time and time again. Page of Wands in reverse. Their behavior is so predictable. You can see this person from a mile away or that kind of spirit from a mile away. <laughs> they have a pattern of the bullshit. What's the chariot in reverse? So somebody's in despair. They feel hopeless. They feel lost. They ain't got no faith. Okay, yeah, the fool in reverse. Somebody here, they just, somebody just lost their way, child. They, they distracted. Somebody didn't got distracted here. Somebody don't want to change, though. That's what I'm saying. It could be an Aquarius. Or they got Aquarius in their chart. Somebody don't want to change. They refuse to transform. They refuse to take risk here that's going to lead them to success. They would rather find the easy way out of shit. And that's why they don't have nothing now. That's why. They're going to always be... I feel like this person here, they live off taking stupid-ass risks. Somebody's just childish as fuck. And that's why they ass is blocked. There could be like an entity or it's like a demon here speaking to this person. Somebody is not like, they're distorted. They, they, it's like they can't think clear or see clear or something. So we got number 38 here. Libra energy. What's this? Uh, Persephone becoming free and self-discovery. Yes, yeah, so we have Zareel or Zareel. Archangel Zareel. It says, Angel of Harmony and Vitality. Feeling complete experiential wisdom. Evolve. Plan B. Create an oasis. Balance. Opposing forces. Yeah. Will of Fortune in reverse. That's opposing forces. So, yeah. <laughs> this Archangel is here to balance whatever this is. Because somebody's definitely trying to, like, send negativity or nasty energy your way. And I feel like you're meeting this bitch in the spirit. It's like, no. It says, I help you achieve balance from a change in perspective, compromise, and by finding common ground. So you could need the crystal topaz. Something could be happening this December or next December. 333 three, three on a clock you could be seeing. I mean, this December or last, I mean, this September or last September, something could have happened. Then it says find another way. Yeah, so you find another way here, I feel. Like. I feel like somebody's trying to find another way in something. And they decided to take a stupid risk. And they ask is, they getting ready to get it. Somebody here could have even tried to go into like a child's energy, playing a child's energy because it's pure. Whoever this is is demonic as fuck. They're a warlock, a dark witch, a wizard that's dark. They something like that. They use they they use their gifts for bad. What else, for? We have number twenty six. Yeah, Persephone again, becoming free, self discovery. So we have Archangel side real, side real or something, ruler of virtues, miracles create out of nothing, solutions, reverses, hopeless situations. Yeah, intervention. <laughs> when you feel all hope is lost, I can help you successfully navigate what may seem like an impossible situation. So you could need the crystal jasper. Something happened last fall or something's going to be happening this fall for some of you. And then it says there is a way out. Exactly. I feel like you found a way. You did. You, you found another way here to get out of something or to stop this mess. Okay, you stepped into your power. Y'all have a gift. Just like they have gifts for, they use theirs for dark. I feel like you're using yours to fucking defend yourself and your person. But somebody here tried to do something. They tried to do something. I feel like it backfired. And they did it here with bad timing too. Some, their timing of something is off. And that's what they get. What else? Yes, we have number 22. This is... Virgo energy, I think. Yeah, let me see. They they sign on here look different. I think that is Virgo. Yeah. So you can be dealing with a Virgo. Have Virgo on your chart. Oh, fire. Creative passion larger than life. Hmm. 
Zeus, directed goals and achievement. Yeah, this is you and your person. Y'all energy here is so heightened. Your person could have Virgo in their chart. Yeah, 11, Archangel Shamuel. Gemini energy, what symbol is that? Vesta, service, retreat, and dedication. Yeah. So we have Angel of um, Hell, Fire, and Spell Binding. Exactly. Somebody here trying to do spell work on this damn masculine. To try to stop them from moving forward, child, please. It says subdue elements, protection, wards off evil, liberating truth, power to bind and unbind. I will cover you with fiery wings of protection and make you immune to any kind of evil that comes your way. So you can either crystal fire a gate several months and the answer is no. No meaning they don't have access to this energy and they can't fucking hurt somebody. That's that's what it is. Then we got number 11, Shamuel, angel of divine partnerships, divine love, twin flames, peace, union, unconditional love, mission, and harmony. I help open the fourth chakra and raise your frequency to that of divine union with your beloved other. So you couldn't do the crystal rose quartz. Something happened in perfect timing. And then we got trust. <laughs> something happened in perfect time. And I swear somebody did something right on time or something like that. Child, something got sent back. <laughs> Or you or this person just know how to transmute, like, energy heavily. It, like, I don't know. But what else, Spirit? Oh, this don't even go right here. This goes up here. I didn't put one up there. I'm doing mine like that. But, yeah, I feel like, okay. So, yeah, something went bad. This this spell binding. So, this is probably in a perfect place right here. The Shamuel here over top of this King of Pentacles, that's your divine counterpart. This spell binding shit with that Eight of Wands is going back. Ace of Pentacles in reverse is definitely going back on their ass. So what else? So we got number nine here. We got Aries energy and water, psychic, emotion, and observant. So it say Ariel, keeper of Mother Earth. Love nature, heart-centered, being outdoors, abundance of natural things, care for earth. I help manifest the fulfillment of physical wants and needs and amplify your care of animals and the environment. So you couldn't need the crystal rose quartz. Yeah, we got rose quartz here on Archangel Shamuel's card. Then we got within two weeks and inspire action. So yeah, somebody here is taking action. This is about some Archangel Ariel talks about definitely animals and money. Okay, so somebody here is... <laughs> Somebody could be sacrificing animals and all kind of shit here. Somebody's a loser. What else, spirit? Some of you guys need to spend some time in nature here. Maybe you're spending some time in nature to get grounded. Okay, this could definitely be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But you are staying heart centered though, which is good. Okay, there's a need for you to stay heart-centered in this situation. We got number 47, Aries energy. It says Archangel Viua or something. Angel of willpower and new beginnings. Excuse me, motivation, ambition, new start, aspirations, new projects, and attaining goals. It says I infuse you with creative passion and energy to start and successfully complete new projects. Yeah, so you need, you could need the crystal amazonite. Today is the day, and then we have success. Yeah, so it fell over top of this page of wands in reverse. <laughs> so something is coming in. Something is, is is successful here. Just period. Yeah, Archangel Simiel, angel of unconditional love, relationship repair, heals broken hearts, tenderness, family unity, and restores harmony. Just period. So, okay, let's pull a Wisdom of the Oracle card. <laughs> Damn, somebody return to sender is powerful. Okay, return to sender, whatever you did, child. You could have did some warden shit or you binded somebody ass or whatever, because they definitely tried to bind you. Not doing tit for tat, but I'm saying, like, you can definitely bind people for good reasons. <laughs> Just like I feel like hexes for good reason. They, they have good. Uh, well, I ain't going to say hexes. That's like great, great magic. Okay, that's like in the middle. But I feel like people, if you're using it in a good way, when you hex somebody, you stop their ass from being fucking bullies. They're they not hurting just you. They're hurting other people. You got to think about it like that too. Somebody here that keep hexing and shit because they trying to get their way with somebody versus somebody hexing your ass to stop you from being a fucking bully and teaching your ass a very valuable lesson. Okay, that's a difference. 
and this is like me speaking from a very witchy standpoint because y'all know that I'm one. So I study that kind of stuff. I know what the fuck people use magic for the wrong intent. And then when they ask, when they get sent back to their ass, they don't know what to do. Bitch, you shouldn't be sitting up here trying to hurt somebody. You should be able to take what your ass dish out. Give me a card here for Scorpio. So we got imagine and loyal heart, period. So yeah, you and your person, I feel like you and this person are manifesting at a very rapid, that's, that shit keep coming out of everybody's reading. But you and your person's imagination here, the way that y'all can think and visualize certain things and they come into fruition is ridiculous. Okay, like in a good way. Yeah, new life. Okay, so you could be imagining a new life with this person. Okay, let's see what the books say though. I like reading from my books. Okay, yeah, 20. That's the judgment card. So there, there's a test here of devotion, being loyal to one another, kind to one another, and building together. Okay, very nice. Very, very nice. So let's see. It says, the essential meaning is turning imagination into manifestation. Exactly. Creative thought, visualization, the power of aligning imaginary, the power of aligning it, imagery and feeling. Sorry, creativity and illusions. So the Oracle's message, it says, who do you want to be? What do you need to believe in in order to have the life you want? You are gifted with the power to imagine. If you can dream it, you can create it. This is the time when your imagination is the key to manifesting the life you desire. Spend time daydreaming, fashioning a vision board to help you see your goals or meditating. That's uh, or yeah, meditating. That's funny. It's crazy because my twin has said something about a vision board here. We got to we're going to do ours, but it's crazy how that came out. <laughs> so it says, allow the power of your creativity to deliver images of what feeds your soul. Then allow your feelings to mingle with your inspirations and imagine things, imagine these things being real right now. Then repeat, what you imagine will become your belief and soon you will see these things come to pass in the outer world as if by magic. Yeah. So your relationship message, it says, in matters of the heart, it's easy to daydream about, an, about another or as... A means of connecting to that person. While that's romantic, if you want this relationship to be real, you need to go for it, not just dream about it. Now is the time to move beyond the daydream and into reality, beyond illusion and into fruition. Relationships are about relating, so step out into the dance floor where imagination partners with manifestation. The message of this card is that a person with attributes you have imagined will enter your life. You'll be changed for the better. Imagine that. Okay, so it says prosperity message. This is a powerful time to get a to get clear on how you create your prosperity, what it means to you to be prosperous, and what attributes you need to develop in yourself to make things happen. Who do you need to believe to be to live out your dreams? Can you imagine the kind of life you desire? Really imagine it without holding back the sheer force of your powers of creativity. If you can envision it, you can have it. Get ready for prosperity. Get ready for prosperity is waiting for you to claim it now. Act as if your dreams really will come true. Mm. Yeah, somebody is a powerful manifester boy. Whoever the fuck this is. I feel like you and this person, to be honest. I'm serious. Mm. So it says protection message. It says illusions and wishful thinking rooted in a sense of lack have entered your life. Now may be the time to see things as they truly are and not as you hoped or imagined they would be. Release any fear, then envision anew. Perhaps you are anticipating that something fearful might happen and recreating that image of disaster over and over in your mind. The universe responds to such projections, so be aware of this catastroph so be aware of this catastrophizing. No matter what, illusions and awfulizing are a misuse of imagination. Clear the inner slate and stay grounded. Stay real. Only then can you truly have what you desire. Yeah, this is what somebody projecting on your ass. Okay, they're projecting this energy onto you. And all you're doing is fucking transmuting it. That's it. Like, it literally. Okay. <laughs> somebody here think they're clever. Bitch, you're a loser. And you're definitely not smart or intelligent or any of that. So we got loyal heart. It says essential meanings, fidelity, loyalty, and devotion, child. I love those words. Okay. So the Oracle's message, it says evidence of loyalty will appear in your life. Others will prove they are faithful to you and you will in turn commit fully to them. There is a sure and abiding certainty in your heart. Know that spirit is always loyal to you. No matter the outer circumstances in your life, trust and have faith for you are eternally loved, always divinely protected and divinely directed. So your relationship message, it says your partnerships, friendships, and romantic relationships all have many qualities in common right now. 
Honest devotion, faithfulness, and a loyal heart are being shown to you. Are you as loyal in return? Now is the time for heartfelt commitments and trusting in divine protection. Your prosperity message. It says your long-term loyalty to your goals is becoming evident in the world of conditions where your aspirations for success assume form and reality. Success is finally taking shape. If you are loyal to your dreams, faithful to your plans while remaining flexible and devoted to serving others, you will be shown proof of your true prosperity. This is a time for a joyful celebration of spirit, your, manifest, your manifesting partner. Okay, so your protection message, it says, are you stubborn or overly tenacious about an idea or have you become so attached to something that you just don't know how to let it go? Could it be that it's become so much a part of you that you wouldn't know who you are without it? Yeah, this is bitch. They don't know who they are without your energy. I'm telling you. They don't, they ain't got no, no sense of direction with that chariot in reverse. They, they're now making foolish and dumb decisions. They made one when they started doing this shit to you back then. I feel like they've been doing this for a while. Now they ask, they don't know what to do without it. <laughs> Okay, so it says now is the time to look at outdated beliefs, old ideas, and misplaced loyalties. Betrayal is only a signal that it is time to prune away all who don't deserve your trust and have no place in your life. Be new, think new, and open your heart to new things. Let go of the old and all your attachments. Spirit has awesome plans for you. Make some room. I feel like this is talking about you in the sense of like this spell work or whatever this energy is that's been projected on you for so long has become a part of you that it could actually ruin a good connection and stop you from actually having a loyal heart to somebody because you're so used to negative projections and negativity and negative relationships and the betrayals and the blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? So now will really be a good time for you to actually stay in violence. <laughs> okay, I feel like you're doing it. So, you know. You're doing what you need to do. But this bitch here, now that they have been casted out of your energy and you blocked their ass, they don't know what to do without it. They don't know what to do. So we have reflection, <laughs> illusion, self-examination, and distortion. Bottom of the deck is number 30, flame tree, the start of something new. Sacred journey, life cycles, family, transition, I mean transformation, and sacred heart, passion, love, spiritual communion. Yeah, this is a really nice union you're going into, period. This could be for some of you, a twin, with the flame tree there. Mm hmm So we have number 13 here. That's Scorpio. That's you. So there's, there's definitely something transforming. Well, obviously you're transforming, but something is ending. These illusions or the shit that you tell yourself that's not true. I feel like you're going within to do the shadow work here. Okay. And and you're seeing that something is dis is distorted. It's not real. It's an illusion. So it says, what you see around you mirrors what you feel within. The chaos you perceive or experience in your physical reality simply reflects your inner chaos and turmoil. If things are not working well in your outer world, what is it that is not working well within you? This card calls for a thorough self-examination. Do not merely skim the surface. You must delve deep to uncover the truth. This will take time, patience, and commitment. Observe your thoughts and feelings throughout the day and make a note of negative or unconstructive thoughts and feelings. This practice over time will in itself help heal and restore balance to your life. It may be helpful to keep a diary in which you note your thoughts and feelings. What is it that triggers these thoughts and feelings? Journal writing will also help provide will also help provide it that the journal is for your eyes only. It may also be helpful to seek professional advice from a qualified qualified counselor or help or health practitioner who has experience in this field. Commit to this reflective journey, be disciplined in your approach and you will never look back. The rewards will be greater than you ever imagined. So your affirmations are it says my heart is full of love and light. All is well in my world. I feel the peace within me and this creates peace around me. I observe all I think and feel each negative thought or feeling is automatically transformed to love. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if you guys feel yourself backsliding or going back to old ways, I feel like you're quickly transmuting that and turning it into something positive. So you can stay on course, but that's what your ass needs to do. Scorpio. Okay. So we have number 14, Soul Child. Bottom of the deck is number 37, the heart transmission. Hmm. We got 13, 14 here. Something is 
definitely um, going in steps here. Spirit has your steps guided. Yeah, as soon as I said that, I landed on trust in the plan, period. So it says, rebirth is upon you, beautiful child of the universe. You have prepared for new life and it is, and it is starting right now. The divine moment of rebirth, which occurs after a period of struggle of intense inner work and physical transformation has arrived. Enjoy getting to know this new self. It is a new day, a new beginning, a new you. Like an adventurer enjoying the discovery of a brand new world, take your time to explore the increase of your light, power, and love. So it says, you have undergone the death of the old order. Nothing is as, is as it was, nor will it be so again. You have had to learn detachment to release and let go over and over again. In so many ways, you have experienced inner death as you have bravely surrendered that which no longer serves your growth this lifetime, even if you once loved it dearly or couldn't imagine life without it. Deep inside, through that process, your soul has been gathering energy. It has been drawing it away from the old forms of your life and relationships, from your old beliefs about health, finances, work, and from what used to hold meaning for you. It has done so in order to feed the new soul child being carried within your body. This new you is filled with divine light, love, and power. Your inner soul child, this newly integrated self, is preparing for birth now. From that which is no longer something new, from that which is no longer, something new is now being born. It says you are ready for the next cycle or phase of your life, even if, like a newborn cult, cult, C-O-L-T, <laughs> learning to stand steady on shaky legs, you are not sure of your strength. Be reassured, the new self you are experiencing will grow strong and powerful soon enough. Let confidence in your new self emerge. Reflect upon how different you are now to a year or even a month ago. Be curious about who you are now. Do not expect the same reactions or experiences you encountered in your past. It is a time of celebration and acknowledgement that a new day, a new you has begun a journey in the physical world. You shall enjoy the divine harvest of all of your growth and effort. This card can also indicate that a child around you, perhaps one about whom you have been thinking deeply, is particularly gifted or spiritually oriented. This child may have an important mission this lifetime and need your loving support and spiritual encouragement to thrive into that mission according to his or her own divine timing. So some of you guys, you could be getting ready to have an actual spirit baby. Okay, now that you came together, especially for those of you that have twins. Okay, even if you don't, same thing, but I'm getting twins. Um, and this could also be a child that you have around you that's already born. They, they need you to teach you their ways, okay? Because they have a, a special mission as well. But it says this card may also be a sign that a new business idea, professional or personal relationship or lifestyle choice is going to support the growth of your spirit in a positive and encouraging way. If this is the case, that new idea or connection will lead to the birth of creative new programs, ideas and structures in your life. On the other hand, if something has been flagging in energy or success, but you are not yet inclined to give it up, this oracle com comes as confirmation and encouragement. Rebirth is going to happen. Do not give up. Sometimes it is darkest just before the dawn. You know, um, I'm kind of, I was kind of like getting something about a child. These people could have a child here and they sitting up here doing all this dark ass magic. Okay. I don't know. But anyways, invocation. I am a child. Your invocation is I am a child of the universe, divinely loved and empowered to grow into a shining, radiant soul of love. May all aspects of my life journey be um, blessed to grow into their most beautiful and loving form. May all the people and the ideas that are in need of protection so they may grow into their May all the people and ideas that are in need of protection so they may grow into their divine fullness be blessed and supported by unconditional love. Through through divine grace, so be it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so a new you is being born here. Uh, Scorps, I'm going to call you Sagittarius. <laughs> okay. Let's pull from here. <laughs> yeah, we have this King of Wands in reverse here. And Pisces in reverse. So somebody's definitely abusing their gifts. Okay. Day to day ass is stuck in a damn illusion.
Let's see what comes out of this deck. Okay, King of Wands, and I mean, upright. Okay, so it says leadership, visionary, bold, optimistic, charismatic, energetic, entrepreneur, creative passion, charming, accepting challenge and support from others and goals. Yeah, whoever this, I don't know, this King of Wands could be your man, honey. I don't know, this King, this, I don't know, this King of Wands could be bad, who knows? Uh, well, somebody is fine as here. I feel like that's actually your masculine, though. They, they're embodying that energy, but whatever. So yeah, we have heart here. Okay, so your heart chakra. It say unconditional love, compassion, empathetic, emotionally balanced, serenity, light, gratitude, forgiveness, center of awareness, transformation, and change, and energy flow. Then we have communication in reverse. So deleted messages, insecure, call and hang up, <laughs> prideful, fearful, anxiety, coward, missed message, and strategizing. Yeah, it's this person. I think I got something like that for Gemini where somebody can't speak up. Their throat chakra is completely blocked. Or somebody just, they can't tell you the truth. They, they, they don't carry whatever the secret is to the grave or whatever the fuck this is that they didn't did here. They'd rather just sit back and just let their life just fall apart versus actually communicating. Somebody here could be needing to communicate how they feel about you, but they in their ego. Mm. Okay, wow, child. We got the King of Cups under the King of Wands. Whoever your master is, honey, they fine as hell. Queen of Cups. Okay, I said it about my own damn divine masculine. <laughs> I be like, damn. I don't know. So it's a emotionally mature, peacemaker, loyal, wise, caring, diplomatic, compassionate, logical, sympathetic, devoted, guided by spirit, and tolerant. Okay, period. Child, I don't know, Scorpio. Who is your masculine? Shit, I know who mine is. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. And third eye. Mm -hmm. They both upright. <laughs> what else, Spirits? Okay, Ace of Pentacles came out, child. Y'all see me put that back. Because somebody is heart centered here, this person here, it's say abundant stability, solid offer gift new job somebody's going to propose to you a heart in the ace of pentacles somebody's in love with your ass new job career business or some of you guys give back to your community in some way or you and this person get ready to start a business together or something like that it's a solid offer gift new job career business promotion manifestation fruition prosperity and material mm-hmm -mm. We got Soul Tribe, yeah, in reverse. It said, cutting off fake friends, lonely, out, outgrown, part ways, walking away. So yeah, I feel like you're, 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 you're done communicating with people that are not a part of your damn Soul Tribe. Like they, this could be your person here that's stopping like communication with these fake ass friends here because they hurt and they, they mind is set somewhere else. <laughs> mm-hmm. This could be somebody you don't even speak to here or your person. Like somebody here could be trying like playing on somebody's phone. <laughs> Weirdo. What's the king of wands? Yeah, root chakra in reverse. Okay, yeah. So it's a fear, mistrust, greed, feeling unsafe, insecure, resentment, depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts, and low self-esteem. Give me more on this king of wands. Yeah, the side piece. Oh, in reverse. Walking away, commitment, exposed, caught up, ultimatum, threes a crowd, game over, returning home, separation, grass was not greener. So this King of Wands, I, you know, I keep getting weird energy from this King of Wands. I'm kind of like getting a mixture of your person here because they, they're embodying that King of Wands though because I feel your person. Like they're just all around a good man or woman. Okay. But this King of Wands here, their root chakra is thrown the fuck off. And I mean, this King of Wands, okay, so I'm getting two things. This King of Wands could actually be your person. They were put in a situation where they were a side piece, okay? They were, somebody here was trying to like uh, make this person a side hoe while they go be with whoever the fuck they want to run around and be with. And I feel like they're not having that shit. They're not having it, just period. Then I'm getting, there's somebody else. This King of Wands is somebody else in your energy that's greedy. They 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 went off of greed and, and shit like that. Or they, they moved out of fear anxiety or whatever the fuck and so now they're trying to leave this karmic energy they're trying to leave this person 
but I feel like they're committed. Somebody here could be having suicidal thoughts. They don't, they're sick. They don't feel good here. Or they side piece or whoever this third party is could be giving their ass an ultimatum. Like if you don't, if you don't stay with me or, so, or trying to blackmail their ass. If you don't do this, you don't do that. I'm a da 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 da. I don't know. <laughs> Y'all see me fixing my wig? <laughs> but yeah, um... Yeah, it said grass was not greener, child. Okay, well, whatever. What's the heart here? <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this is where their heart is at. I feel like whoever this, if this is your divine masculine, this person already sees, they already went through their whole phase. They see that somebody is not worth the time or is not worth, like somebody already sees what somebody is doing to them or trying to do to them. So they are fucking moving on with their life and moving on with you. But it's a mature businesswoman, grounded healer, wealth, practical, good motivator, diva, successful, rational, and financially stable. Yeah, I feel like this is this could be you opening your heart to new. But uh, as a woman here, Scorpio, you could be a Scorpio with Earth in your chart, or you could have Earth in your big three, but Scorpio somewhere else. I don't know. But I feel like this is what you went through in your past. And now your heart is open for somebody else or something else or whatever. Some of you guys with the Queen of Pentacles and the Heart Chakra here, you could definitely, I feel like you do give back to your community here. You do. I feel like whatever this is has showed you how to really love on others and take care of others, but not be so overly giving towards others too. It's something where something has taught you like a lot about yourself. Okay, this this journey here. What's this communication in reverse? Yeah, wounded warrior in reverse. It says no more fight, stalemate, obstinate, retreat, walking away, exhausted, refuse to compromise, lack persistence. Yeah, so whoever this is, this person here, they just give up on themselves. What's communication in reverse? Yeah, 3D. They say reality check, caught up, jail time, blow up, exposed, secret lifestyle, counseling, ascending to higher consciousness. So somebody here, I feel like somebody's going through an awakening. It's this other person. This karmic masculine here could be going through an awakening now. Now, whether they come out on top or not, I don't know. Because this person right now, they I feel like they... they Okay, yeah, Jupiter in reverse. And we got lovers in reverse and divine feminine in reverse. Somebody's with a false feminine that made they ass a side piece. They with a false... They with a loser here. Mm. Mm. Somebody here refuses to take accountability for themselves and shit like that or why they put themselves in fucked up predicaments. So now they're experiencing bad fortune. Somebody here could be gaining weight here. Somebody could be gaining weight. Mm, what's the King of Cups? U-turn. So it say, yeah, roadblock, wrong way, obstacles, conflict, dead end, disaster ahead. Bad choice. Go back. Trust your intuition. Not right. What's this king of cups here with the U-turn? Yeah, solitude in reverse. Ungrounded, noisy, feel lonely, lack direction, blurry, overworked, lack focus, impulsive, anxiety, and worry. This king of cups could be an actual spirit guy. That is Scorpio energy. The king of cups. I feel like for some of you, your person was about to like do something crazy, but they stopped themselves because they're going to get their ass beat. They know they're going to get their ass beat by spirit if they decided to go ahead and do what they was going to do. This person hurried up and got it together. They were warned to not do something and they didn't do it. Versus whoever this other person is, they did whatever the fuck they wanted to do. I feel like for some of you, your masculine here could be your divine masculine, four or four on the clock. Your divine masculine could have a baby mama or or uh or an ex or something around. They made a wrong decision. They made a wrong turn, and now their heart is, is focused on this queen of pentacles. Somebody that's stable, secure, loyal. Their heart is there. And somebody, I feel like, yeah, somebody wants to re return to this king of cups, king of wands person. That somebody wants to return to this king of cups. Okay, they want to come back. <laughs> Because they don't feel grounded or stable without this person's energy. But I feel like their heart is already set on a queen of pentacles. Yeah. Leo came out. Somebody could be a Leo. Or had Leo in their chart. I feel like the woman, the energy keeps switching. But now I'm feeling like 
the divine feminine woman can have Leo or Earth in HR and the man here got a uh, Scorpio. So I feel like I'm talking to a Scorpio man or Earth in HR as well. Okay, something like that. And you got a bitch over here that's mad as fuck. They're mad because they stuck in their south node. They're not healing. They're not growing. They're not whatever. So, okay, what's the Ace of Pentacles? Taurus, I told you. <laughs> this is going to be a Taurus. <laughs> okay, sound like a shit. But it say elegant, pers perseverance, patience, reliable, organized, honest, understanding, intelligent, stylish, diligent, sensuality, and great listener. Yeah, this is this Queen of Pentacles person that this masculine here is in love with. Just period. So, somebody's saying that the grass wasn't greener with who they chose. I feel like it's a woman that chose a horrible man to be with. And oh well. What's the Ace of Pentacles with Taurus energy? Yeah, letting go. Exactly. Releasing, surrendering, freedom, clarity, dropping burdens, letting go of control. What will be will be in the flow and accepting. <laughs> so a soul tribe in reverse. Floodgates in reverse. So it's a delay, slow down, self-doubt, out of alignment, worrying, no action, feel entitled, rushing, envious of others. Hmm. What else for this soul trap? Throat, yeah. Somebody need to speak up. Governs communication, understanding, speaking up, honesty, inspiration, self-expression, communication, and creative. Yeah, somebody here needs to speak up. Yeah, aggressive, proudness, harsh, secrets exposed. They already been exposed, but whoever this is, they ain't they ego heavy. It's just like, they, they really don't give a fuck, whoever this is. And I just feel like, okay, well, you shouldn't either. Because this ain't your problem either. It's a deal with. So, 111 on the timer. Like, if you don't speak up about it, then bitch, uh, what you expect me to do? You're not going to live in my energy, though. Somebody needs to take accountability and speak up. Just period. Somebody needs to cut off family and friends or something like that. Somebody could be experiencing delays. Because they need to cut off their family, their friends, or whatever this is. I feel like somebody don't want to feel lonely or left out in the cold. So they, they hang or cling on to situations that ain't, you know, helping their ass out. So we got number 26, health checkup. Oh. So somebody here can need to go to the doctor. So it says, I am healthy in my mind, body, and spirit. That's your mantra. So it says, good health empowers us to thrive in all areas of our lives. Take a moment to tune in with yourself. Scan your body and feel what is right and what needs attention. Even if you're feeling generally well, most of us have a little fine tuning to do. Like drinking more water, eating more fruits and veggies, or simply getting more nights of, of restful sleep. So it says, whether you work with a doctor who practices conventional Western medicine or a trusted natural or holistic wellness professional, like a nutritionist, a practitioner or of traditional Chinese medicine, an herbalist, an averdic, a vedic or something like that, physician or a doctor of functional medicine, consider booking an appointment to stay on top of your yearly checkups and tests. If you have an ongoing issue that perhaps you've been putting off, now is the time to address it with a professional who aligns with your needs. So your journal prompt is, what aspect of your health is your body, body calling you to focus on? Okay, then after that, it said hydrate. So some of y'all need to drink more water. It could be that you need to drink more water, incorporate more vegetables, vitamins, fruits, whatever. Let me see. I want to see what this is. What's this health check up here? What does this have to do with it? Cancer. Okay. So let's say overly emotional, moody, snappy, pessimistic, lack of confidence, easy to upset, clingy, need for validation, vindictive, and suspicious. So this could be like your mental health. Okay. This could be like your emotional well being. So maybe a psychiatrist or, uh, oh, yeah, clean your cups in reverse. It's cancer. Whoever got cancer in their chart or whatever. Somebody's health, their mental health. Something about somebody's mental health, possibly. What's the health check up here? 
Okay, you're the sun. Somebody could be a Cancer Leo cusper. So we got arrogant, stubborn, critical, prideful, depressed. Yeah, drained, exhausted, egotistical, lack growth and lack purpose. What else? Mm. Crown is upright. So it's a spiritual connection, transformation, wisdom, peace, connected to source, awake, universal consciousness, enlightenment, and present. Some of y'all have a hormonal imbalance that needs to be looked at. Okay, go to the doctor to get a home to get your 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 spirit team is telling you that you you could be getting downloads about whatever this is. With the sun in reverse and the cancer energy in reverse. Now this could have something to do with your fertility as well. Your hormonal your hormones being imbalanced could have something to do with you actually like conceiving and things like that. So let's see. Give me give me like two more. Inner childhood wounding. It says sense of belonging, forgiveness, seeking counseling. Yeah, no self-worth, value, healing, setting strong boundaries and wiser. Yeah, so something about your hormones, I feel. Okay, give me give me another one. Guardian angel in reverse. Scattered, blocked, noisy, unaware, not listening, missed messages, fear, distraction, imbalance. Yeah, stressed and worrying. Something about someone's mental health here. That's causing a hormonal imbalance or whatever. Y'all know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. well, maybe you're in denial about it or maybe you don't want to look at it or something or maybe just somebody else but for some of you just you just you your intuition could be telling you to go get something checked but you you're in your ego or you're thinking like no maybe it's nothing or maybe i'm tripping or maybe i can do this as an alternative maybe i don't need to go to the doctor maybe i don't you know what i'm saying what's the sun in reverse Leo here in reverse, egotistic, arrogant, jealous, restless, dominating, impatient, naive, stubborn, possessive, pompous, and vengeful. Some of y'all, this is just somebody being strictly stubborn. Somebody's like stubborn as fuck. Okay, you're being stubborn. You're not listening to what spirit is telling your ass about the doctor. You need to go to the doctor. I don't even feel like it's nothing bad. I just feel like you need to go because something might be able to help you with your hormones. Okay, but um, this was your reading. All right, I hope this resonated. Yeah, Leo, that's the energy of what? Children and playfulness, childhood, youthfulness. Okay, so definitely go, go get checked up maybe. But this was your reading, Scorpio. I hope this resonated. Like, comment, subscribe here. Turn your notification bell on. Press the all button so you guys won't miss any of my readings. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.